Hi, everybody. It's Donna. Welcome. I'm here to do a reading for the week of May 1st to May 7th. And this is for Pisces. So let me just get everything ready here. There we go. Let's just change the um, screen. <laughs> hmm. Hope everybody is well. I hope you're having a great week. Oh. Okay, that one just wanted to pop right out. So, <clears throat> so let's see here. So the near past, okay, so, you know, just what's been happening, okay, in the near past. So we've got temperance, the ten of coins, and the Knight of Wands. Then what's happening immediately, so in the present, would be the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and the Ten of Wands reversed. And then your near future is the Queen of Swords, the Hierophant, and the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Now the card that kind of is the overall energy of this reading kind of popped out. And when I was just shuffling, so it's the eight of wands reversed. So I feel like there's a little bit of a delay, things not getting done as quickly as you'd like them to. Um, but overall, it's still not bad. OK, you still have desire. You still have energy. You still have that creativity within you. OK, it's just, you know. I feel like it is just being a little bit delayed. So you'll find this stuff happening slower or not as quickly as you'd like it to be, okay? So let's have a look here and see what we've got. So your near past, it, of course, it starts off with temperance, right? So you want to be patient. You want to be taking your time. You don't want to get all worked up about anything right now, okay? So just know that. Steady is the way to go, okay? Um, and then beside that is the 10 of coins, okay? So it looks very, very good. It looks like everything is falling together. You're doing well financially. Everything is, you know, the way it should be, right? So every home is good. Work is good. All that stuff is working out very, very well right now, okay? And the Knight of Coin is just, you know, solidifying that again, right? You've made some really good choices. You're doing well financially. You, you're doing well as far as meeting your needs right now, okay? So this is all really good in your recent past, okay? So let's go on to the, um, uh, the present, okay? So what's kind of going to be happening for the week of, of that, for that week, okay? And I feel the nine of swords, the nine of swords here is a lot of stress and anxiety. For some reason, you get all overwhelmed, okay? You want to be careful there. So um, to me, it feels like with the ten of cups here, that it is about matters of the heart, okay? So huge anxiety, making sure that you are looking after everybody and looking after everything to keep everybody happy, right? So sometimes that can be a whole lot on you. And you may find that, you know, you might be needing, you know, to um, take care of yourself a little bit more, okay? Than what you normally do. So make sure you're taking that little bit of a break. And because we have the eight of wands kind of overlooking all this, Things just might not be getting done as quick as you want them to be done, okay? But I feel like everything is good. You know, we've got all things practical here in your near future and or your near past. And then in the near future, we've got everything emotional, just, just being wonderful here, okay? So try not to let those worries and stresses take away from that, all right? And again, we've got the Ten of Wands here reversed. So you're coming to a completion of something. So something is almost over. So you've almost attained a goal. You're very close to reaching your potential. And I feel like that is awesome, okay? Don't get discouraged. Just keep going, okay? There you go, my dear. 
So, and then coming up in the near future, what I see here with the Queen of Swords, you're, you know, you're, you're pushing your way through, you're, you're being very strong, you're being sure of yourself, you're advocating for yourself and others. And I think you, you know where you're headed and what you want. Okay. So that's really good. And don't be afraid to seek out what you need, like the higher learning, the um, maybe a mentor, you know, someone that has something that you need from them, you know, how to accomplish something or whatever it is that you're looking for that you don't know. But I believe this is like, you know, maybe it's a course or a workshop, or maybe it's going back to school, or whatever it is, it's definitely in your favor, okay? And it's definitely the right choice. And then we've got the Wheel of Fortune reversed. So you have to believe in what you're doing. Because this is reversed, I just think you have some doubt. And this is probably caused by the Nine of Swords, right? So yeah, you just want to make sure that your doubt is being relieved a little bit, okay? Trust yourself. Trust what's going on. You're going to be fine. So let's just clarify a little bit and see what's going on, okay? So we're going to clarify this temperance card, you know, with the ace of coins. So, you know, everything again, don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. All right. So if you want to move, it's just being delayed. If you're planning a renovation, that's being a little delayed. You know, um, maybe you have to save the money. Whatever it is that you want to do to make your environment more comfortable, there may be some delays there and there may be some, you know, reasons that you might have to hold off on that a little bit, okay? But I do believe it will come, okay? And then moving on, we've got, you know, to clarify the Ten of Coins, we've got the Ace of Swords reversed and the Six of Cups reversed. So I do think that, you know what you want, you know where you're headed, you know what's good for you and what's not good for you, okay? And you've got the practical stuff down pat, just you got to make sure you're not giving away too much, all right? So sometimes we have to, you know, do what we need to do, we need to speak our mind, and we don't give ourselves totally away. You know, we need to... Um, you don't want to be taken advantage of. And I guess this is, you know, just something just to put a little caution there that you're not giving everything away, okay? And then we've got the Knight of Coins here. So let's see what's there. We've got the Hierophant reversed and the Seven of Coins. So again, you know, things going very, very well. You know, um, I feel like sometimes you're not sure, right? So when you're not sure, get get the information you need, all right? Look to someone else to help you with that or research or take a take a workshop, okay? Uh, maybe even, uh, you know, sit down and watch YouTube videos, whatever it is you need to do. But you need to make sure that you've got the information that you feel more comfortable making decisions, okay? But I feel like things are good, all right? So let's clarify that nine of swords, which is causing some a little bit of annoyance, okay? So the nine of swords, we've got, um, we're clarifying with the knight of coins reversed and the hanged man. <coughs> Excuse me. So we've got that stale energy, okay? Things just not moving forward. And I, you know, that's causing the stress, okay? And uh, this may be delayed you know, because someone's not available. And I believe that this could be, you know, in love, that this is giving you a hard time, that the person that you want to be with is not available, it, just emotionally not available, you know, or it could be physically not available. They may not be in the same area that you are in, right? And it just feels like it's kind of making everything else kind of hard, you know? Everything practical is there for you. You know, the emotional part is there, but you're missing that one person, right? So maybe you need to learn to love yourself a little bit more. 
and you can be more content with where you are. And if you do have that person, make sure that you are including them in what you want to do in your plans and make them inclusive to be a part of the plan for the rest of your life, right? So sometimes we, you know, we want to do these certain things and we don't check with other people, right? And then next thing you know, they don't want the same thing and you're back at the starting ground, right? So yes, which causes a delay. But, you know, just take your time with it. Talk to people, you know, your person and make sure they want the same thing as you, right? And then to, to clarify the Ten of Cups, we've got the Three of Wands reverse and the Six of Swords reverse. So I do believe that there is a bit of a hold up here with love, okay? And I just believe it's hanging on to something from the past not quite dealt with it yet. You're on your way. And I believe that that will be dealt with in a matter of like maybe, you know, a few months. Okay. So I don't believe you need to um, stop what you're doing or end a relationship or anything like that. But I do believe you need to work on what you need to work on to get over those resentments or the anger or you know, the fear, right? So whatever that is, make sure you're you're working through that, okay? And I also believe that there may have been a trip or something that you may have wanted to go on that might have been delayed, okay? And that can cause some upset too, all right? Mm -hmm. So if there is, um, you know, look at planning uh, in more depth or replanning or rebooking, okay? Then the Ten of Wands reverse, we've got the High Priestess and the Four of Coins reversed, okay? So this is telling me that you need to really look at, you know, what is almost completed, right? Um, what do you need to do to get that completed? Does it need just a little bit of boost of money that you're afraid to spend? You know, go ahead give it what it needs, right? And trust your intuition. So really trust your intuition, you know, and finish this project up so you can move on to a new one. What's your new goal? So you need to start thinking ahead a little bit there, okay? And then the Queen of Swords. So we've got the Three of Cups reversed and the Fool reversed. So the Queen of Swords, you know, you're doing fantastic. But you don't want to be so serious all the time. So you want to make sure that you are having some fun and you're celebrating with people, okay? And you're doing things, you know, it doesn't all have to be thought out and researched, you know, and sometimes it's okay to be spontaneous and just have a little fun, okay? So just know that, all right? And then we've got the Hierophant. So we've got the Page of Coins and the magician, so reverse. So with the Hierophant, you know, you want to learn things, right? You want to be part of your community. You want to be part of something. Make sure you're doing that, all right? Um, look around at what's available and join something or be part of something or start something. You have the ability to do that and you are quite capable. And and I think you could be a big service to others, okay? And then with the Wheel of Fortune, we've got Temperance and the Knight of Wands. So the Wheel of Fortune is reversed here, okay? So what you want to do is somehow or other believe in yourself, okay? Believe that anything you want is possible and flip it, okay? So flip that. And I believe that there is, there is love for you coming. There is love for you out there. Absolutely 100%. And there is hope for a really good life, you know, but you have to go after it. No one's going to bring it to you. No one's going to rap on your door and say, here's your life, you know? So yeah, you need to make a point of getting out there and doing that. So with the Eight of Wands coming into this with the Eight of Wands reverse, let's see how the week is ending and how you're leaving this week, okay? We've got the Ten of Wands reverse. So basically, what this is telling me is that, you know, you're at the 
end of a project. You're at the end of something. Something is just about at completion or is at completion, but you're having a hard time letting go or, you know, it just needs that little tweak, right? Look at what your goals are. See where you are. What do you need to just finish up? It's done. And then you can move on to something new. So this is fantastic for you. So anyway, um, this is your reading uh, for Pisces. Thank you for being here with me. And uh, we will see you again soon. Bright blessings, my dear.